Today, we reminisce about the rich history of our home in space. We take a look at the evolution of space stations. Scientists once wondered if it was essential to have something on the doorstep of space, something that we can call home, a space station. The Soviet Union marketed themselves into the history books as they launched the very first space station into orbit, the Salyut 1. On April 19, 1971, Salyut 1 was born. It consisted of five main components, a transfer compartment, a main compartment, two auxiliary compartments, and the Orion Space Observatory. Salyut 1 was nearly the size of a tennis court measuring 66 feet 20 meters long and comprising 3,500 cubic feet 99 cubic meters of interior space. The station had only one docking port in the transfer compartment, which could be used to connect spacecraft visiting the station. The most critical components of the space station were located in the auxiliary compartment. It contained the control and communications devices, power supply, life support system, and backup oxygen and water supplies. Two externally placed solar cell panels spread like wings from the smaller compartments at either end of the station. The Soyuz 11 spacecraft was the first to visit the station. It was the first time in spaceflight history that a space station had been inhabited. However, the success was short-lived. After 23 days in orbit, the capsule prematurely opened upon descent, causing the astronauts to asphyxiate. They were the first and only people to die in space. The fallout was felt throughout the Soviet Union's space industry, as the Salyut 1 mission was eventually abandoned after it burned down during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere in October 1971. Two years after the incident, it was the United States' turn to place themselves in the sky. This is Skylab, America's first ever space station launched into orbit. Skylab was far larger than the Salyut 1 space station in terms of size, with a length of 99 feet, 30 meters, and a pressurized volume of 17,200 cubic feet, 352 cubic meters. Skylab, unlike Salyut, includes a multi-docking adapter with two docking ports, as well as an airlock module with extravehicular activity EVA doors for spacewalking. Integrated with Skylab was the Apollo Telescope Mount, or ATM. It investigated the sun in deeper depth and at higher wavelength than Salyut's Orion Space Observatory spanning from soft X-rays to ultraviolet and visible light. These three-man crews boarded the station for 28, 56, and 84 days in orbit, respectively. These flights also housed the most advanced space experiments up until then. From examining human physiology to researching material science, such as how crystals grow in space. To accommodate the crew, advanced lodgings were also developed. Skylab included a space shower, a wide variety of hot and cold food items, a window, and even an entertainment center for screening movies. Astronauts have spent a total of 171 days aboard Skylab. Skylab was destroyed in 1979, when it burnt upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere due to increasing solar activity. Following the United States' attempt to create a permanent presence in space, we fly 5,500 miles east as the Soviets finally found the successor to Salyut. Introducing Mir the Soviets' attempt to make a multi-modular space station. Mir began its voyage into low Earth orbit on February 20, 1986, with the launch of the first of seven modules. It was the largest artificial satellite ever launched into orbit at the time. The core module, known as the Base Block, was the first module to be launched into orbit as part of the Mir program. This served as the astronauts' residential quarters after they boarded the station. The core module had a restroom, two sleeping cabins for privacy, an entertainment space for movies and music, exercise equipment, and medical equipment. The historical station's strong suit, however, was its six accessible docking ports. Its predecessor, the Salyut missions, as well as America's Skylab, only had two docking ports, limiting the station's rapid progress. The space sanctuary was outfitted with the most advanced technology available at the time, X-ray and ultraviolet telescopes, gamma-ray detectors, oxygen generators, and even an incubator in space for hatching and raising quail. On the exterior, five major solar arrays and two Strela cargo cranes were mounted to the sides of the core module. The cranes were used for moving spacewalking cosmonauts and parts. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the Russian Federation acquired the Mir missions and initiated additional space partnerships with other nations, notably with the United States of America. Mir hosted 125 astronauts from 12 different countries, serving as a symbol of peace between these massive nations. The space station remained in orbit for 15 years, 
much beyond its anticipated lifespan of roughly five years. Astronauts carried out over 23,000 experiments and research, propelling space science to new heights. The Russian government decided to deorbit Mir in 2001 when it shifted its focus to the new International Consortium in Space, the International Space Station, or the ISS, the largest modular space station in low Earth orbit, standing supreme as the greatest man-made object humanity built in space so far a space sanctuary that harbored hundreds of astronauts for decades. The ISS is gigantic, four times larger than the previous space station, Mir. It measures 357 feet 108 meters, from end to end, about the same size as an American football field. The first component of the International Space Station, ISS, was launched in 1998 and was occupied two years later. The ISS is massive. It was sent into orbit in fragments while our astronauts use their magic to build it in space. The ISS also outperforms all past space stations with the amazing amount of 16 pressurized modules. One of the main parts of the ISS is the integrated truss structure, which serves as the backbone of the station and holds a total of 16 solar arrays and radiator panels that removes excess heat from the station. Along with the solar panels, there is a 58-foot, 17-meter long robotic arm capable of carrying huge items for the ISS's reconstruction and even transporting spacewalking people. There has been a continuous human presence on the station since November 2000, undertaking over 3,000 experiments and 253 spacewalks. The magic happens inside the space station. The living and working areas are the size of a six-bedroom home. It has six bedroom quarters, two bathrooms, a gym, and a bay window with a 360-degree outlook. Over 50 computers manage the entire station, which are all connected by 8 miles 13 kilometers of cable. They even have access to the internet, which allows them to communicate with their friends and relatives. For decades, the International Space Station has served as a symbol of international cooperation. It also carried out groundbreaking studies that assisted us in exploring the future of human spaceflight. However, part of the journey is to the end, since the ISS is set to cease operations at the end of 2030. After the International Space Station completes its incredible mission in space, countries all over the world are now searching for a successor. China is leading the charge, having launched its first space station, the Tiangong, into orbit. Russia is also anticipated to terminate ties with the U.S. in space and launch its own Russian orbital service station in 2026, the Ross. As NASA plans to retire ISS by 2030, they are also looking to replace it with commercially owned stations in low Earth orbit. Private company Lockheed Martin plans to launch the first commercial space station, the Starlab Space Station, in 2027. Also in 2027, arguably the most anticipated space station ever, the Voyager station will be launched into orbit, a circular-shaped, wheel-looking station that aims to be the first space business park and hotel with gravity that can accommodate 28 occupants at the same time. The day will come when everyone will have easier access to space. Who knows? Perhaps in a decade or two, you and me will be able to visit one of these space marvels. This is the future of space stations. This is humanity's future.